Hi violin and viola students, uh, my name is Mrs. Sims and welcome to the first lesson in the, a series of orchestra lessons. Uh, we're going to provide a YouTube channel for you to go to so you can take a look at it, you can practice at home, if you forget something you can take a look at it and, uh, and hopefully this is going to make you a better player. So let's take a look at what we're going to learn today. Um, this is lesson one. We're going to learn the rest position, play position, and the names of the strings for violin and viola. So the very first thing, let's take a look at your instrument. Um, you're going to be in rest position. Your instrument is going to go under your right arm. If you're looking at it from that way, your right arm would be this side. Be careful not to squeeze on the bridge because you might pop that bridge off. Remember, the bridge is not glued on, so you have to be very, very careful when you hang on to it in this position. Your feet are together in rest position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into play position. The hand that is left open you are going to grab the shoulder of the instrument, which is the part that is closest to the floor. You are going to pull that instrument out. The scroll faces the ceiling. You're going to tip it upside down. Going to move it to the left. And you're going to come in for a landing right on your shoulder. Make sure the instrument and the strings are parallel to the floor so your violin and viola doesn't point up or point down. It should be even. What happens to your feet? Your feet are zip and your left foot comes out so you have a nice way to uh, be stable on your feet. Let's see what that looks like if I turn around. Okay. Your instrument is under your right arm. You're going to take your left hand that's loose, grab the shoulder of the instrument, carefully take it out. You're going to tip the instrument upside down, come in for a landing on your shoulder. Your feet go open, make a V, and take a left, your left foot steps out. You should look like that. Now, let's talk about pizzicato or plucking the string. You have your right thumb up and your pointer finger. You're going to take your thumb and point it and put it right on that corner of the fingerboard. Your index finger comes up. Violin players, your lowest, thickest string is a G string. So go ahead at home and practice. I'll play first. G, 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 your turn. G, 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 G. My turn, the next string is a D. D, 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 your turn. D, 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 D. Next string is an A. A, 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 your turn. A, 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 A. The littlest string for violins is E, 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 your turn, E, 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 E. Very good. Go into rest position. Your instrument comes down under your right arm. Your feet come together and we will rest right now and I will work with the viola students.